This is unusual. This is section 12. This is this is love poems between Rokan being a, a, well, a poet and Tishin, Tishin, T-E-I-S-I-H-I-N, section 12 from Two Drops on a Lotus Leaf. And here it says, was it really you I saw, or is this joy I still feel only a dream? That's Titian, his nun friend. He says, was it really you I saw, or is, or is this joy I still feel only a dream? Rokan says, in this dream world we doze and talk of dreams. Dream, dream on as much as you wish. Go ahead and dream. She says, here with you I could remain for countless days and years. Silent as the bright moon we gazed at it together. Gazed at together. Okan says, if your heart remains unchanged, we will be bound as tightly as an endless vine for ages and ages. And Rokan says, have you forgotten me or lost the path here? Now I wait for you all day, every day, but you do not appear. Tishan says, the moon, I'm sure, is shining brightly high above the mountains, but gloomy clouds shroud the peak in darkness. Rokan says, you must rise above the gloomy clouds covering the mountain top. Otherwise, how will you ever see the brightness? And here is... Uh, the nun Titian, his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm. 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 Anyways, the nun Titian, from heaven a gift more precious than jewels or gold, a visit from you on the first day of spring. Oh, she really liked Rokan. It says here, Chanting old poems, making our own verses, playing with a cloth ball, together in the fields, two people, one heart. They used to throw the ball to each other. Okay. And they read poems together. <laughs> he says, the breeze is fresh, the moon's so bright, together, let's dance until dawn as a farewell to my old age. Hmm. He's probably pretty, uh, yeah, he's probably still pretty good shape. Huh? Here he's, Rokan is 69 years old. Teshin is 29. His, uh, he had come down from the, I think he's getting older. He'd come down from the mountain hut because of his age probably, and he's living in, down in the village, and his nun is help, helping take care of him. Here it says, exchange of poems on Rokan's deathbed. When, when I sighed, the one I long for has finally come. With her now, I have all that I need, Rokan. And she says, we monastics are said to overcome the realm of life and death, yet I cannot bear the sorrow of your parting, Titian. And it says, he says, everywhere you look, the crimson leaves scatter, one by one, front and back. That's a famous poem by him or something like that. Everywhere you look, the crimson leaves scatter one by one, front and back. And 
it says, my legacy, what will it be? Flowers in spring, the cuckoo in summer, and the crimson maples of autumn. The ink paintings and the text were created by Koshi no Saike. So these ink paintings are not his, they're by Seito. Hmm. Now it says this artist, devoting himself to the paintings of Rokan, the paintings of Rokan, the artist passed his day leading a quiet and simple life in the countryside. <laughs> about to translate it. Then scholar Natito instructor John Stevens has lived in Japan since 1973. Hmm. He's quite a Japanite. He lived in Japan. Well, there weren't that many uh, poem, love poems after all. To the climax, <laughs> we let up. It's like the television channel where they said, oh, you got to come wait for the 12th session. Here we are at the 12th session reading Rokan. Here's Rokan, and here's Rokan's hut. Looks like they build the replicas now. You can go to the Olympic Zen Center. Now, and here, here is uh, Rokan's Rokan, a book about Rokan and his girlfriend, the nun Titian. And here's Rokan with Titian. And here they are together. How beautiful. We were reading from Rokan, Two Drops on a Lotus Leaf, ending with the love poem. And uh, since the book is over, here we finished the book. Any comments? Hmm? Hmm? I'm disappointed there's not more love poems. Well, maybe we'll find some. End of story. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we finished Rokan in 12 sessions. Mm -hmm. We're reading from uh, Rokan, Two Drops on a Lotus Leaf by John Stevens.